uh, as uh, we were uh, discussing in uh, this uh, episode of the breakfast show uh, that under the auspices of President uh, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and with the participation of high level uh, delegations uh, uh, from the UN and World Health Organizations uh, also with the Muftis, ministers and scholars uh, from over uh, 90 countries, Egypt's Dar al-Ifta uh, is holding its seventh international conference uh, on fatwa and sustainable development uh, goals uh, from the 17th until the 18th uh, uh, of October 2022 and to shed moonlight uh, on uh, this we have the pleasure to have this phone with Dr. Mohammed uh, Saleh, professor of uh, professor in Al-Azhar University. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Yes, uh, Dr. Saleh, uh, how do you see the importance uh, of the conference and its uh, significance? Uh, in the beginning, when we talk about a jihad or giving fatwa, giving fatwa is depending uh, on uh, the sayings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the verses for, or the Quran and the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Peace be upon him. Yeah, the sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He refers to the Quran, the sunnah, and consensus, ijma'a. After that, qiyas. And uh, after Qiyas, uh, Ijtihad. Uh, the Prophet وسلم, said to one of the companions when he sent him as a uh, caller, a da'ya, and the fit, and the mufti, and the tawr judge, the Prophet وسلم, asked him, how can you make fatwa, or how can you make judgment? He said, I ahkum bi kitab Allah, I make judge by the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I don't find in the Quran, I say sunnah. If I don't find in sunnah, I say my view and not, and not make it hard upon them. Ajitahidu ra'i wa la alu. Not make difficult upon them. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it everything is easy. Business in everything. Not making difficulty upon the people or human being and so on. Yes. So, uh, giving is the hand, not uh, random, but there are some conditions for the mufti or the person that he is giving fatwa. Yes. Number one, he has to memorize, I say to memorize Quran perfectly. Yes. And when he memorizes Quran, for example, the first verse is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a step for uh, banning or banning uh, drinking wine. First thing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لا تقربوا الصلاة وأنتم سكارا. And it uh, means, don't come to pray while you are in the case of uh, While drink. you're drunk. Yes. Yes. And after prayer, they can use it to drink. But step by step, the companion said, uh, I will pray after two hours. So I have to abandon or let drinking wine. Step by step. And after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made uh, the, the, the law of drinking wine is banned, muharram, forbidden. إنما الخمر والميسر والأنصاب والأزام ديجيس من عمل الشيطان فاجي تنبوه. This is the end of drinking wine. It is forbidden, haram. So the person that he is musti has to know the cause of revelation and what is abrogation and نسخ. What is abrogation? And when someone, you know, it is not random, any person giving and say the drinking wine uh, during the prayer is haram and after prayer is halal. You say to him, no, there is something called the cause of revelation, and either abrogation. What is the first verse and what is the last verse? Yes. This abrogation. Uh, so any, any person, the Prophet ﷺ made a reward for the person that he is giving AGP head. If I say, mashallah, my view, and I read Quran, and say, see the hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and I do my effort, this is jihad, do your effort in uh, getting the role from the Quran and Sunnah. Hmm. And when I do this, there is a reward for me. If I do, if I say even something wrong, I did my jihad, but my jihad is wrong. And if my my ishtihad is true, the reward will be double. For example, Al Imam Abi Hanifa when he said some of his views, and many of his views were wrong, according to for why 
he depended on sayings or a hadith, but this a hadith were weak a hadith, not yes. strong. <laughs> In this case, he will take his reward. So when we say the consensus ijma' al-ummah means the all, all scholars say that this is haram, this is halal, this is unanimous ijma' al-ummah upon something that this is halal or this is haram. So yes. this is ijtihad. It is not for any person to say ijtihad or getting fatwa for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make the punishment will be doubled upon the person if he say something or giving fatwa and he is not a scholar, he's not specialized. It is not for me to speak in the field of medicine or engineering or something like this. It is not my field. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ yes. Ask the people of knowledge if, if you, you don't know. Yes. yes. So ask the people of knowledge every person in his field. When a person came to Imam Sha'arawi, rahmahullah, and yes. he said to him, you, sh- 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 you are saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned everything in the Quran. Imam Sha'arawi said to him, yes, Allah said this. But Alu, and the man said to him, tell me, uh, the bag of uh, floor and so on, uh, how many loaves of bread uh, it has. The Imam Sha'arawi sh- said to him, Allah said in the Quran, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ So go to the baker and ask him. Yes. He will give you fatwa in his field. What is the meaning of fatwa in itself? Fatwa from fata. Fata means a strong man. Yes. Not baby, not old man, but fata means a strong. Yes? Yes. So, so when I get my fatwa, I get my, my, the, the good view, the strong view. Where, I can, where can I find it? I find it with the people of knowledge. For example, when in Al Azhar University, there is a faculty of Arabic language, as history, a faculty of languages and translation, faculty of medicine. Not every person has a certification from uh, Al Azhar. He is a scholar. This is a problem. That you will say when they find any person yes. uh, graduated from Al Azhar, say, "Mashallah, you are Shaykh." No. I am graduated from the school of history. I am not a scholar. So yes. we have to get him to Fatwa House for they are qualified. And mashallah, they have team of scholars, especially in the field of divorce. Yes. Uh, doctor. Group of scholars, group of scholars uh, sit and listen to the man's husband and his wife. And the man swear that he didn't say or intended or not intend and so on. Yes. Yes. Dr. Saleh, um, uh, now uh, the slogan of this year's, uh, the conference uh, this year is under the slogan uh, of uh, uh, Fatwa and Sustainable Development uh, Goals. So could you please elaborate on this uh, title? The slogan of the conference. Uh, the conference is the meaning of Ishtihad in the modern age, in the modern time, yes? Excuse me, I didn't get you. I, I say you, you mean the fatwa in the modern time and the modern issues? I don't mean, um, uh, Dr. Saleh, this yes. is the slogan of uh, this year's conference. Yes. The, the main slogan. So could you please elaborate uh, on uh, this uh, slogan? Yes. Yes. Uh, the scholars, or uh, as you know that every year, many, many Scholars, many Muslims from all over the world, they come to Egypt every year. Yes. And they share the Egypt is a minister of Awqaf in this conference. Yes. And every one of them be preparing his paper or research and they say it or be prepared it before the conference and they send it. Yes, uh, I, th- I, th- I thank you uh, very much uh, for your time uh, and also for your uh, valuable information, Dr. Muhammad uh, Saleh, professor, of, uh, uh, professor in Al-Azhar University. Thank you very much uh, for joining us over the phone. Well, uh, with this, uh, my dear viewers, we come to the end of this episode of our program, uh, The Breakfast Show. I was in the company of my colleague, Nermeen Abdurrahman. My name is Amal Mukhtar. Thank you for watching.